Oh yeah, it was definitely scary. Oh yeah. And they just told us to stay inside and that's what we did. That is a neighbor reacting to a deadly shooting in Philadelphia last night. We're now learning more about a man killed by Philadelphia police after he allegedly struck an officer with the car he was driving and pinned him against a wall. NBC 10's Siobhan McGurl joining us live outside police headquarters. Siobhan, there are a lot of details here that are still unclear. Yeah, nearly a day later, there are still a lot of unknowns, including why this officer was trying to stop the driver in the first place. Police will be looking over police body camera video and surveillance video. In the meantime, the neighborhood where this happened is in shock. Is scary. His first night visiting Philadelphia, and this was the scene outside Marcus Bryant's rental. The back alley shut down as investigators surrounded this car. The driver had just been shot by police a few blocks away after he allegedly pinned an officer against a wall with that same car. It was crazy. It was just a bunch of screaming and shouting. Philadelphia police say this started when an officer tried to pull that car over here at Adams and Newtown Avenues. When the car wouldn't stop, three witnesses helped to block the road. Those independent witnesses say at some point they see the door open and then at some point they see the car turn into the officer, striking him and pinning him against the wall. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Kevin Bethel said based on reports from those witnesses, that's when the officer fired multiple shots into the car. He said a passenger then got out of the car but was detained by the witnesses. At the same time, the driver, identified by police as Curtis Wallace, drove away eventually stopping here at Benner Street. It was definitely scary. Oh, yeah. And they just told us to stay inside, and that's what we did. Police say they found Wallace in his car with gunshot wounds to his head and body. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. People in the neighborhood say Wallace's family arrived at the scene later that night. Family was really mad. They're like, uh, y'all killed my brother, this and that. Police have not yet identified the officer involved. We do know that he is an eight-year veteran of the department, and he was released from the hospital this morning. For now, outside police headquarters, I'm Siobhan McGurl, NBC 10 News.